Hey, Tom Brandon here. Today, I'm headed to Raleigh for the Lenovo Global Industry Analyst Summit for 2023. The event kicked off with a tour through the executive briefing center, so we got to see some of the the cool technology that uh, these guys have been developing was, was very impressed. Um, we also got to see a bit of their campus there at Research Triangle Park in North Carolina. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we got to meet some of their engineers. We got to see some of the vertical specialized solutions such as their, their retail setup. Um, CEO YY gave uh, an excellent keynote talking about the strategy. He also hosted a absolutely amazing um, dinner, so we got to have some excellent food in addition to seeing some excellent tech. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Lenovo campus. It's been a really great week, uh, met some amazing people, have seen some really cool technology. Um, so let me give my three takeaways from the Lenovo Analyst Summit. So this is my first Lenovo event, and as I think about my three takeaways, they all have something in common, and it's innovation. For my first takeaway, I'm here in front of their data center display um, where they're showing some cool technologies, but, but where some of the innovation shines out is, is a little bit unique. Um, and it has to do with their, their Neptune cooling system where they're using water, like even warm water, to, to cool server racks um, as opposed to using air. Um, and what this is doing is, is providing a significant reduction in utility bills, like up to maybe 30, 40% in the operating cost. So it's really exciting to see this innovation as they uh, strive towards uh, providing a more sustainable um, data center uh, for, for their customers. Um, they're also providing some, some stuff they'll be announcing really soon, some tools that help their customers um, kind of measure the impact of the decisions that they're making in regards to sustainability. Um, and and it's, it's some really cool stuff. So great innovation in the data center. Another area of innovation that was kind of cool to see is um, in some of their device technology. Um, I'm here in their demo center again um, and want to show you a few things. So in addition to kind of all the little cool stuff uh, from some of their companies like uh, Motorola and their, their different PC products that we have here, um, in, in, our, in my space that I cover, the collaboration space, they have the the Think Smart View Plus, which is kind of a, an all-in-one collaboration device. It's kind of designed and centered around Microsoft Teams um, for uh, accessing team meetings um, directly from the screen. You can also connect to PC and, and kind, of, kind of do things that way. They also showed some really cool devices um, over here with some of their uh, uh, laptops. Um, one of my favorites is, this, uh, is the Fold, which I think is an absolutely gorgeous device, one that I uh, would love to get my hands on at some point. Um, it's got a uh, wireless keyboard you can use with it. Um, you can use it in different uh, form factors as it folds up. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, lots of innovation around devices. So if you know me at all, you know that uh, I get really excited about uh, virtual and augmented reality. And uh, Lenovo's definitely been a player in that area for some time. Um, so they've been showing here at the Demo Center a couple of their uh, devices. We'll take a look at them. Uh, we've got the Think Reality, uh, augmented reality glasses. This is the PC edition um, that, uh, that connects to PC, obviously. Uh, very cool, true augmented reality. Um, then there's the Industrial Edition, which connects to uh, a smartphone, uh, which, is, which is very cool. Um, and they're Think Reality VRX, so this is a true VR headset. It does have uh, pass-through technology, so we got to check that out uh, uh, a couple days ago, and it actually works very well. Um, and they're, they're having a lot of success um, in the VR space. There's a lot of uh, uh, brands that you would know that they talked about that under NDA can't disclose, but um, some really cool stuff, particularly around training, continues to be a a major vertical for our major opportunity for for VR so that's it from the AR VR space thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time on on convergence